It was from here that men and women, propelled by sheer nerve and talent, set about pushing the boundaries of humanity's reach. That's the story of NASA. Touching the stars. Joining humanity's mission to space. A goal that can feel so far beyond our reach, it may seem to many as impossible. But for a generation that knows no limits, the gravitational pull of doubt is no match for their ingenuity. Starting at about 11 o'clock, people are going to start coming over from NASA. They want to come over and see what you guys are up to. We take ideas that come from our astronauts, whether they call down from on orbit or come by and see us after they return. We take those ideas and we ask our students to come back with solutions to those problems. Hunch is a nationwide STEM program where students take problems NASA's engineers need solving and find solutions. What we have here is called the Tool Arrangement Container and Organizer. The idea was to sort of create a more modular sort of system for the astronauts to store their tools. Hundreds of their ideas have already been adopted by the space program. This competition at the Johnson Space Center features the best of the best ideas. Anything that we ask our students to do, it's actually meeting a need that NASA has. Like this tool that you guys built is actually something that we more or less do or use on the NEMO mission itself. I think it's really impressive that high school students can build stuff like this. When a lot of people think of NASA, they think of cutting edge technology. And I think these kids are definitely at the forefront for delivering that. Beyond their role as innovators, Punch programs are actively fulfilling work orders for NASA, including a machining program creating stowage lockers for the International Space Station. I feel like I have a role in a, in a say in something. It's pretty cool to just know that I'm doing something for NASA, like at 16 years old. And an industrial sewing program for softbacks, two products described as essential workhorses for the space program. When these are built for flight, what they will do is pack these with food items, clothing, all kinds of different goods, experiments, things like that, and then these will then be packed into modules to be sent up. Hunch attracts students from every corner of the country, from small rural public schools to private institutions, and every interest level. One of their fastest growing programs focuses on the lives of the astronauts in space, specifically on what they eat in orbit. What's on the menu tonight? Strawberry shortcake. We oh. have these butter cookies and some strawberries with a little bit of milk on top. Oh, excellent. About five years ago, some of the crew, they were talking about, you know, we'd like some different options. Um, for food items in space, and so this program started. Our dish is all vegetarian, so we use mushrooms to say, give it that kind of meat texture to it. We wanted to get students that were involved to understand about microgravity and understand about the food processing that has to take place in order for food to get up there. You're investing in our poached pear in a wild cherry syrup. It is a challenge because the nutritional um, guidelines are so strict. First off, we have antioxidants in the cherries, which are very high, a low sodium content, and a lot of magnesium, potassium, and very low fat. Doing this competition is something that I would never thought I would be able to do. So it really, you know, is a, it's a confidence booster. It's cool that I can see how much impact I can have at a young age. I like the idea that I'm contributing more than not just on my planet. The space program has always captured an essential part of what it means to be an American reaching for new heights, stretching beyond what previously did not seem possible. NASA's push for a brighter future may be creating their future at the same time, introducing a new generation early to space to be the program's leaders of tomorrow. These kids are like thinking at Silicon Valley at speed to innovation. You know, and they're applying it to stuff that's going into space. I think that we do have some future astronauts here, but I think we also have some future NASA engineers, NASA scientists, a variety of students that are going to contribute to the NASA family. These kids might be some of the kids that might be going on these missions to Mars, and so it's, it's a fabulous thing to be a part of. 
space exploration is not a luxury, it's not an afterthought in America's quest for a brighter future. It is an essential part of that quest because exploration will once more inspire wonder in a new generation.